So what happens now? You ready? Is I'll ever be. Okay. Let's do it. What the fuck are you doing here? I told you we shouldn't be seen together. You told me to meet you here. I didn't. Well, then what are you doing here? My secretary told me I had to collect my rushes. Fuck! Someone's onto us. Joe, Joe, Joe. You just couldn't leave it alone, could you, Langdon? That was always your problem. So how much is it going to cost me this time for you to just forget about all this? Oh, this time I'm not for sale. Ha! That's cheap. Isn't it? You know, it's a real shame. What is? About Abby. She had to go. Shut up. She could have gone to Saul and ruined this little circus of yours. So you killed her over pirate DVDs. <laughs> you say that so flippantly. Why do you think the film business is losing money, yet I'm still making films? It's a big business for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. If you know what you're doing. That poor schmuck soul doesn't have a clue that all the money he's losing on his films is going directly into my pocket. Do you want to know what the real shame is in all of this? You killed the wrong girl. Don't play your little plot twist with me, Langdon. That just won't work. You see, it really wasn't Abby you saw that night. It was Rachel. Her standing. Do you know something? It don't matter. Because you ain't going to live long enough to tell anyone about it. Not so fast! It was a real bad cop. Now he's a dead one. Then it comes. So? It's a price to see you. Partner. Listen, Soul, I... Oh, I've been listening. Very enlightening. So I can explain? I know. Every little detail. You can tell me how you cured Abby. So we done? Yeah. Good job. One more thing. Finish the fucking screenplay off, yeah? Yeah, we'll do. I wanna write you. Give me a phone call first thing Monday morning. <laughs> Got something right up your street. Joe, you can't do this. Joe, help me for old times' sake, yeah? Joe, how did you know? What? Well, tell you the truth, I didn't. I just sort of made it up as I went along. <laughs> do you know what? I think this is going to be the start of a beautiful screenplay. I can't help.
So, that was my story. It didn't have any gay cowboys, no robots or space invaders in it. Hell, there wasn't even a talking dog. It was just a story about people. Just a story. Right? Pause out. 